Hello. Now we are after we finish the painting of the of the whole ceiling and walls and everything. Uh, now is the tiny little defects that you see in the wall. So this looks fine. Don't worry about if it's not if it doesn't feel exactly um, uh, like like a like very smooth, like a metal smooth kind of thing, like, like this smooth. It's it's fine because uh, because we're painting with a roller, uh, it's, it'll catch the texture of the roller unless you paint with a brush or spray paint it to, to make it exactly like a plastic look. You know, you're not going to achieve that in the house and it doesn't make sense and it's not practical. So anyway, now um, what we'll do is the little imperfections um, that left by the excessive paint, we will take that down. What you need is a sandpaper of uh, 240 grits, right, 240, uh, which is double the 120 we, we sanded earlier before painting. So I've just cut into a small section like this. I'll just show you, just do that. And now you look for these things. So for example, you see, that little bumpiness in here. What you do, just little, don't press. There, it's gone. See that? Really simple. No, don't press it. You don't want to take the, the, the paint out. You're just smoothing and you're feeling it. So that's good. No pressing, yeah? This is, you see here, that's another one. Right there. Now this is ready, it's almost done. That bit, that bit, yeah. yeah, this is ready for the final coat. This bit here slightly. That one. So I'm not seeing what I'm filming because it's the opposite side of the camera. Anyway, you get the point. Gentle sounding, really gentle. Don't don't go crazy. See, the, the paint's still there. By the way, the top bit, it's not a big deal. You don't need to do it. People are not gonna really touch the, the top bit, generally. Why would they? And nice and easy. Done. Perfect. Now you see, with the sanding, sometimes you might left, be left with bits like this. But you see, the feeling is fine, because you're gonna t put another coat on top. It'll look professional. Yeah, it's all good. Just making sure that nothing feels weird. And that's a little example. So the rest, I'm gonna do myself. I don't think you need to watch every single thing I'm doing, but you get the idea. Uh, I might film it later or speed it up. I'm just gonna do the little showing in here. I'm just gonna... Not too much. Don't want to take the paint out. You are just pretty much making it feel good. So I'm gonna paint, do the whole, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. These are just the places where people expect it to go. The imperfections. So you've got, yeah, see that now? This is, see this? Gentle sounding, no craziness. Circle up here.
No. After you cleaned, after you uh, sanded all the edges of the windows, um, you go in and hoover. Oh, sorry, I won't say hoover. That's racist. You should vacuum <laughs> <laughs> the edges of the window. So we'll vacuum it now. I like a brush and uh, my little friend over here. Hello. To show you, I've done, uh, sorry, before I show you, to explain what happened, sorry, I forgot to film this, but uh, what I've done is the masking tape, you can see above my head, there, right, the yellow on the walls, not on the ceiling, let's just mark the ceiling, mask the, ce the, the walls from the ceiling, from the paint. Um, there are some people who can obviously do it really, uh, what's, it, what's the right word? Confident or comfortable that they can just paint without the masking tape. Don't think it's a good idea. Uh, I like to be safe then, sorry. So basically just gonna do it. Anyway, so I reached, so I painted this side, just this area here. And now this is the side that's still pending, so I need to stop quickly before it dries. And uh, now you can see on that side the nice finish with a nice finishing roller. So, uh, yep, so we'll uh, carry on. Sorry. You can paint in lines, you can paint in boxes. You can paint in zigzags, you can paint whatever you want. It's just freaking paint. By the way, the lights, the electric, the, yeah, the whole wiring, electric, the drilling, the ceiling, I installed myself. No videos for that, sorry, but I've taken so many pictures. But yeah, so I know inside out what's, what's in, um, above the ceiling and what's, uh, where everything goes. So now. However you paint, boxes or lines or whatever, make sure it doesn't exceed, what, half, or maybe one square meter, max. Just common sense, just little boxes or bigger lines, longer lines, yeah. And, when you wet the brush, don't go straight on an, an older patch. Just go next to it, empty the stuff above it for so a couple of rolls and then go onto the previous paint. So, for example, you can see the ceiling. This is painted, that isn't. I'm not gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. So I leave about half a brush width and then paint. You don't want things to overlap. And now we'll come here and then stress it out. Now you can hang your brush. Old paint. Wash the brush and hang them on somewhere to dry. Simple. You got a funny design, the box. The little when you when you pour the bucket in, the edge We'll try to take the paint back and then drop onto the paint and drop the floor. And the neck, really. Yeah. Okay, I just didn't make it.
strange enough, you don't get this with lino paint, you only get it with Dulux. Lots of stuff that comes in, even if I mix it very well. Yeah. And Line on this fine. Few box you got there. All the box. The annoying part. I'm sure it was for me. You know, the ceiling is painted, and I'm just literally slowly peeling off the plaster. Sorry, the, the thingy paper. White sponge to take off the, the bad parts. Do that with taking it out just a bit more water. Good morning. shave anyway day four it's a beautiful day so hopefully it's the last day um i've got this room to paint and i've been also working on another room that i didn't film but anyway um now we are the ceiling is being painted nicely as you can see primed and painted and finished and everything so lights are in as well the walls have not been painted yet uh we will do that today but uh, before we do that, we have two things to do. A um, mask and tape on the whole ceiling side, just uh, the edges of it, obviously not the whole ceiling, just the edges of it. And uh, just getting rid of the minor imperfections. Uh, I think I've showed it in an earlier video. Uh, things like, for example, when you do painting, uh, things would stick out on the edges here. Uh, that side as well. I think we've done it in a previous video, but what we have is a perfect example. Things like these. Let me show you that. I can see it in the light, but uh, let me see there. See that here? That's a slightly paint sticking out. So what you do? We'll uh, just get rid of that fly. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. Yeah, so what we do, 240, simple, just make it into a small, that should do, now watch this, see that now here, let's just get rid of it. Gentle, don't go too crazy on them. See, it's coming out. See, no pressure. It should just be caught up with the. See that? Nicely done. And that's all we need to do. Just a bit more. And there's another one here. See, I'm not putting my finger pressure here just to pressurize it. No, just put it back in the down. And then, okay. Just need to fly gently. And nice, done. So that's in a nutshell how we do things like getting rid of these minor imperfections. So do we have anything here? I think we do a bit. Let's see. Do that, so it's just difficult to hold the camera with one hand. 
hand. Yes, then. Oh, this is that's a big one. See that plaster is still sticking out there. This is uh, that's an interesting one. This is uh, not just plain. That's plaster because we had to do so. Maybe we need the two for one twenty for that. But I'll just try with this one first. Good. Yeah, the stuff that I hate, uh, which will never go away, are these cracks in the wall. Um, because it's a new building, we will be facing cracks uh, for a whole year because of the wood used in the in the uh, construction. Wood expand and shrink with heat, so you'll get those sadly and there will be one on the ceiling coming off later probably here i can see it now and this is uh this will keep going until the year last hopefully if we're not dead with corona so i think we're all good now everything looks in place we're going to start uh, masking the ceiling uh, so I already did part of it now, yesterday, so I did that, that, and I stopped here. So I'll just continue that. You see the ceiling there? I'll just continue that later, in the end. And then we can start painting the, 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 the ceiling. Uh, sorry, the, the, the wall. Just as you can see, the ceiling is excluded. It's quite funny, I was actually researching yesterday, um, spray painters. Um, most of them you can't use indoors because they they, they spray air. Uh, but there's a there's there's the special types called airless ones. You just put the paint in and they just go and and do its stuff. Um, I think it's ideal for this room because we um, we have everything off. There's no fittings. The only thing we need to to take is the spotlights. But I already covered that anyway earlier on. So. Maybe next time, maybe on the next project or the or the next life, um, we will spray paint the room instead. Uh, see how that goes. But this this thing is about, you know, manpower. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Ciao. Now the masking. Make sure when you mask, you don't touch the ceiling. the ceiling just touch the wall it's better also focus on see now when I'm touching the ceiling I'm touching the previous so sometimes you hold it with a thumb so you put the thumb down to press it up the ceiling just makes sense really and then use the other hand Just masking, really. It's just simple. You need to make sure that you don't leave any gap to to the corner. What you do with corners, you don't go all the way because it's uh, perpendicular, so you can't just go like this and then twist. You have to cut the tape somewhere down the, down the middle. And you don't want to cut the tape onto the wall, you just want to leave it on the ceiling. So 
Um, I ended up here, right, just before the corner, and I started a new corner just there. That's fine. So I'll have a little, uh, just a bit to add now here. So I've done, so I've done a little line, and I stopped down here. And this bit, I'm just going to cover with a tiny little tape. It goes from here to there. Right, so don't stick it on the wall. Not here, not there. Just on the ceiling. So it's going to go from here to there and just cover that corner. Um, so I can't hold the camera as I'm doing this, but it's just really simple. Just, you know, tape sticking. Should be, should be easy. To understand. What happened was one of those uh, Dulux famous things that's known for the stuff that gets stuck in a brush like this one and that one. So I'll probably leave this. I'm not going to take it off because I've taken that one off and it's look, it's just caused a, a nasty. So what I'm doing is literally using a tissue to paint this back. And this one on the surface. Yeah, I hate this. Absolutely don't like it. So anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll paint brush it later. Anyway, um, now we've done the taping around the room. Everything is uh, ready for the walls to be painted out. So that looks all good. Um, I've got another room to do, uh, to tape out as well. I'm not gonna record the other room anyway. So this one is pretty much ready. Uh, oh, I think I need to add the tape on the, on the wood bits over there. I don't want the paint to go over it again because I'm going to paint that with wood paint, acrylic ones, and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So uh, I think I just I don't need to. Well, I'll probably film this anyway. Just okay. So so this is one. So just tape there, tape there, tape there, and I think we're done. Actually, only here I need the others are already already walled here and there. So just two tapes. Yeah, that's done on that side. Looks good. Now, we don't need to do that bit because we're not painting the wall. So that's fine. I'll leave it like this. This is all good. Right, now the last bit is there. Okay, so this chapter of my life is now done. Yeah, so now I'm going to start, uh, well, just do the other room before I come back and film this, and we'll do the painting for the walls. Um, my selfie stick that I broke a few days ago, upon uh, when, when I was filming, I it fell, broke the 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 attachment and I fix it by doing this. It's quite funny fix. 
So now uh, I can just put this self selfie stick and it's a tripod as well. So basically you can see here. Absolutely love it. It's it's really neat. It's a neat product. So we just put the phone there and it will just record. So yeah, let's just do that now. Now you're on the selfie. Okay. So how are we gonna paint this time? It kills me to paint the office now because I really, really, really like it as it is. I really don't want to paint it, but anyway, the ceiling is done, completely done. We masked it all up with the tape this morning, as you showed on the video. That's all good. That's all done. What we need to do now, or I need to do, is paint the walls. Um, I'm going to have to do it. So uh, I need this thingy midgy of dialogues to ensure that it's not gonna well it's a washable strong paint sort of thing so and it's a mat hopefully oh so yeah that's the old the other mat which is the cheaper version of it the one we use the ceiling that doesn't matter because even no one's gonna go up and scratch the ceiling anyway who cares so that now we're done with it I'm gonna move that to side so we don't get mixed up. So just take this away. Yes, now that's the uh, Dulox Easy Care Washable and Tough. I hope it's not tough on me. So, this strategy now how are you gonna paint? Um, with the final finish, you can't. Just paint the way you like. Um, I wouldn't say rules or any like that, but uh, when you're gonna when you have an office like that, which is a window this way and a window that way, you've got a sun coming in. And when you're standing at the end of one end and looking through the wall, looking parallel to the wall, you would see um, badly finished product. So basically. Uh, it's to do with streaks going left, right, and center, and all that. So, the way to do it is to paint the walls in lines. So, you've got line one, line two, line three, and so on. That's the strategy of painting this long wall, right? This is, this is the, how it's going to work. Before we do any of that, we need to get rid of the windows or finish the windows first. So, windows goes first, the frame, the surrounding of it, that's going to be done first here. This whole wall will be finished, and these are the easiest, easy parts, and are really difficult to reach. So get rid of those, that one too, and then we have, we'll be left with the wall and wall in here, so it should be fine. Also the good thing is, the paint that we have in here from Dulux is one big, huge can, or what can is a bucket. Um, that means we don't need to mix things together and, and you know, destroy the world, so. That's all good. I think we're pretty much ready. Uh, so what we're going to do is start the, the ball rolling. Uh, before that, um, you've got these old ones from the, the other color. I'm just going to get rid of everything here. So I'm just going to uh, use a bag, a part of the bag instead. Put brand new roller brushes and you're good to go. So, ah, latex, yep. latex gloves, in fact, let's put you here, might be better. Yeah, that's better. Better, better. Ah, <laughs> So it's quite funny wearing latex when I'm actually all covered with uh, with paint all over the place. But this is all washable anyway. Should be fine. All right. So 
Because it's rust. You have been back. It makes sense to clean the whole handle because sometimes I don't want nasty bits to fall into the paint and ruin your day. Get green for the final finish. Problem with those is they lose and it gets a pain in the neck. So just try to pull them off just gently as, as, as much as you can. Pull the fluff off. And uh, I had an accident this day of that sticking up too much and going to the other corner and causing a problem. So just Gently pull it, make sure it's, it works. Also just pull these bits. Yep. Inspect it, make sure it works. Nothing sticking out. Well, it will, it will actually start to lose some of the fluff on the paint. So you need to really watch it. So that's the, the young one doesn't do it, that's the old one. Well, I mean by the young one, I mean the, the smaller version. You know what I mean. Hmm. Okay, look. So now we're good to go. Um, we'll start, just leave this day here, to have fun. And, uh, this baby, we are up today with the uh, clinging film to whisk the, the paint. So that is now easy to take off. We're not interested anymore in uh, mixing up the old paint. So, see the nice beauty of the clinging film. New clinging film in place. Good to mix now. Right, corners, edges. Let's get the edges done first. Nice color, deluxe. Thank you very much. Yeah, still looks nice. The cheap one wasn't good. Well, it's not not good. It's just so corner two now edge. I like those brushes. The um, the edgy ones, not the straight one. They work fantastically well, really well. The problem I have now is I can't see the difference between the new and the old paint. Well, I can, but not not very visibly clear. But I can feel it, which makes sense. So, that's the second edge. That's the um, third edge. Trying to be quick. Don't worry, I'm not, um, I'm not being super accurate, mainly because I need to cover the edges first. 
Don't see why. I just need the paint in there. Now, that's stage one. Stage two is Mr. Mr. Stuart Little. Now you see why I didn't really go accurately with the brush, because this will distribute all over the place. So now, Sorry, what's behind the central leaking? This one is done. It looks fantastic, though. So I will uh, just smoothen up the edges of the other two walls with this. No paint, just smooth, so that when we come back to paint this up, um, the paint will add <coughs> to the existing one. So very simple. Just do this. side get it over and done with and we have those two walls left so very good Okay. Come on, I don't 
That bit you're talking about is brushed. That's an arm rolling it. That wall, I like it, looks really nice. Fantastical. Now we move on to the storage. Right, we need to open up and ventilate the room now because Otherwise, the um, tapes uh, for the for the masking will start to fall off. It's getting too humid. And I think uh, the bits that I needed to get out of the way that are, you know, just all over the place. But I remember that need to be reached by uh, the little little guy here. I know out of the way so now we can start opening up the window and let it uh
Nein. We've done this, we've done that, we've done this, we've done this, we've done this, and this is the last ball, the longest ball.
-hmm. It's done. Just gotta get it off. I'm happy. So later I'll, uh, I'll do the, the wall sockets back into place and take it from there. Yeah, looks good. Thank you for watching. <laughs>